Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and we have something new to show you guys. This right here is Subworks, Submarine Pens in Stormworks. How is this gonna look on the inside? I don't know. Let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so unfortunately there will be no submarines today, but we're gonna go ahead and have a little look at the submarine home. So this island right here is actually the normal submarine base uh, that you have in Stormworks. So if you go ahead and spawn there and go inside of here, you will see that there are an actual, like, sub pens. Look at that, that's crazy. So inside here before, it was just empty, it was just a bit of a cave, uh, and there was nothing really here. But now, with subworks, you can have this. So there's a pen right there, there's a pen right here, and of course, I think, there's actually a pen on this side too, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know how you turn on the lights or anything like that, but we need to figure it out. So let's get to it. Okay, so I turned on infinite electricity, and this is how the lights turned on. Interestingly enough, that's, um, that's interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and run down the sides. On the front of this thing, there are actually some little shed doors, or garage doors, uh, which I believe you can actually open from somewhere around here. <laughs> I'm not sure quite- Whoa, I fell in the water! It's cold! Excuse me, I think that might be it over there, so let's go ahead and uh, swim. <laughs> let's swim it, here we go. We're swimming across, yes. We'll jump out the other side, and let's see what this does. Oh! Ah, oh, yeah, nice! Let's have a little look from the outside. Oh, look at that, that's sick! So they actually just go upwards, into the roof, and then you'd be able to drive out in your submarine, or drive in with your submarine. Uh, depending on what you have. That is really cool, actually. I quite like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that back down, because we don't need those open. We have no submarines, that's okay. Uh, I have noticed whatever that is down there. Don't know what it is, but there you go. Um, and yeah, it's got vents in the ceiling. It's got heaters. I don't know whether they work. I'm assuming they don't. Um, but yeah, overall, it just looks really cool. I quite like it. What's actually really interesting about this as well is that you're able to actually spawn things in if you want to uh, in the center. So let's see if I've got any submarines. I don't know whether I do. Uh, but let's go to like U-boat. Uh, that one definitely won't fit, but like maybe this one will. So if we have a little look at this. Ooh, that's quite big. Okay, you then need to go to like world view so you can actually see where it's going to spawn. Oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is gonna be interesting. Let's go ahead and spawn it there and hope for the best. That might be a little bit big. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, that's too big. That's too big. <laughs> uh, we need, like, a submarine that's a little bit smaller than that. Which, I don't know whether I have, to be honest. Um, oh, this is small. Yeah, no, this is a small submarine. So, it's kind of hard to know where you actually put this, but it's essentially the center of your build zone, and then move it backwards. There you go. So this should now actually fit and work. Ah. How far over am I? No, I'm in. It just needs to go down a bit. Okay, well, we're breaking things by accident, but yeah. If we go ahead and we take it back out, and we drop it back down to actual submarine height, which is down there, this should be fine, I think. Yeah, there we go. So there's a submarine in the sub pens. Oh, that looks amazing. That looks so good. Unfortunately for me, I think I might have picked one of the hardest submarines in the game to actually turn on. Um, and I don't know whether it works after the update, but yes, look at that. That is sick. So if we now go down the side to that button again, we'll be able to see it from the outside and that'll look amazing. I was looking at this earlier, and I, I'm not entirely sure what this button is for, but um, there is a button here. <laughs> There's also a hose. I don't know whether that's to, like, put out fires or something, I'm not sure, but, like, there's a hose there, and there is a lockable button. Not sure what that's for. Anyway, let's go and open up the doors again. Oh, have I broke them? I think I might have accidentally broke them, but you can go outside here. Uh, and, yeah, they do look a little bit broke. Let's lift it back up. Oh, I can't get back in. All right, here we go. So let's do this. Yes. And see what happens. Hopefully it'll be fine. Uh, the thing is, it might have had to be working on, like, um, full physics detail. I'm not sure. Or maybe, like, no physics detail. I'm not sure. Here we go. Let's go to, like, low. Yeah, but I think I've actually broke them by accident. It's kind of annoying. But, yeah. 
Okay, so there is something that I do want to show you guys about this, which is kind of, I don't know, um, a little bit... I guess annoying for the creator, but let's go ahead and show you anyway. So, this right here, if we do it... Uh, da, 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 wind. Let's say we're at like 100% wind. Water actually just flows through here like crazy. Uh, but that's just down to Stormworks and walls not working. But yeah, that is a bit insane, isn't it? <laughs> it's just like, POW! Water comes all the way through. Pow! It just does it over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, it's actually a really, really cool creation. I really like it. Um, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, right, I think a torpedo just exploded inside this boat too. Uh, and it has managed to escape underneath the doors. <laughs> Even though the doors are bugged out like that, this submarine is going. It is out of here. What a cool creation though. That is awesome. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how to actually get this into your world. So if you go to the Stormworks main screen, you go ahead and click New Game. If you then want it into like normal mode, where you can do whatever you want, like Sandbox, go ahead and click Custom. Find the submarine base. It is here, Custom Submarine Base. Bam! And then go to Enable Add-ons. Go up to Workshop. Type in Subworks. And select this, Subworks Submarine Pens. Bam! There you go. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Spawn in, and it should be there. Oh wow, it's thunder and lightning! I need to get inside. So yeah, once you've actually spawned it, obviously it'll spawn like this. I don't know whether there's a breaker anywhere, and if I read the things, I'm not sure it says. Um, do -do 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 -do. Uh, soon to be added, a fuel store. Da -da -da. LOX intake for AIP subs. Not entirely sure what that means. Um, a small player base and more. Interesting, so there's gonna be a small player base here too. That's crazy. I guess you've got all of the room actually on top of this as well to build a base. Uh, because if you go upstairs... On the top, there is actually more here. Uh, this is here, this is actually part of the add-on as well, like a little bunker bit. Uh, we've also got the air intake over there, and I believe there's one down there too. Yeah. How cool is that? Uh, we've also got this area up here where you can build whatever you want as well. Uh, but that is part of the base game. So if you wanted to build a building here, you could totally do it. But anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, uh, I think. Yeah, so if you guys want to use it, I'll link it down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.